see me fucked up on the next blog it's because I told this story even though this story is a thousand years old my cousin don't know shit about it and if he knew about it he might fuck me up you feel me and one thing I don't do is disrespect my family if anybody any of my family members will tell you I wows out on people in the streets but I do not disrespect my family even though I've stolen and all type of shit as a young man, which I would never do now, I give. But as a young nigga coming up from New York, coming to Cleveland, and it was fucked up the way I was fucked up, this type of shit happened. You feel me? So to my cousin, please don't fuck me up. I love you, cuz. You understand me? I was a little nigga. Listen to the story and understand. Check it out. Like, I'm broke as fuck. I'm a little nigga. You know, I'm, I'm probably like 14, 15 at the most, 15 at the most. You feel me? So, like, um, I'm running around with my cats. And remember I told y'all about in the last hood story, the OG niggas that I used to fuck with, I was fucking with them at the time or whatever. And they was still, they still had my back because I ain't never did no shady shit to them. So, this is when we all in cahoots still or whatever. So, I used to go over their house, kick it, whatever buy double ups or whatever I did. They fuck with me harder than they fuck with any of the other little niggas, period. I'm the only nigga in their house or whatever. So check it out. One day, you know, I used to be booking my cousin from here and there. I used to be fronting me little shit, fronting me big shit or whatever. And, um, you know, I was fucking up back back then. You know, you, when you was a young nigga, some young niggas was on a grizzly. I was a n young nigga that got busy buying people shit, giving people shit, just because I really never had nothing. You understand me? I ain't fuck with school all like that. So I was fresh to death. I used to be like, check it out. Like, I, I was so silly, right? Before the nigga really started putting me together, um... I take some of his clothes because he had all the Tommy shit, all the not a call to fly shit because he was that nigga. When I mean that nigga, I mean that nigga. I ain't talking about no little nigga. I'm talking about the bird man. Yeah, straight like that. So I'm putting his clothes on up under my clothes. You feel me? Because I'm from New York and my aunt and them, they didn't treat me like the nephew. I remember they took me and bought me this raw ass jacket from the Goodwill, but it had a name patch on that bitch that said Nina on the side of that bitch. You feel me? Like niggas was like that bitch fire, but they knew that wasn't mine. You know what I'm saying? Buying pants that might not fit you correctly and shit from the Goodwill. I just felt like I was a, a I was there for the check. That's what I felt like. They showed me love, but I felt like they could have given me better. But you got to think, that's my father's side of the family. So it's mom's baby, papa's maybe. You understand me? So they don't even really know if these are his kids, but this is what the man claimed they took us in or whatever, such and such, because in New York, it was falling apart. You understand me? 50 Cent style, all things falling apart. Nigga like that, straight like that. Nigga, a cancer running through that bitch. But long story short, right? So I might I, I um take the nigga shit or whatever, put it up under my clothes or whatever, come uh, when I get to school, go in the bathroom, take all my clothes off or whatever, have on some fresh ass shit, you feel me? I got his shit on, you understand me? So I was doing this type of shit. So one day I came home and my aunt like, you seen your cousin shirt? I'm like, nah, I ain't seen it or whatever. So my cousin couldn't find his shirt nowhere, you feel me? So why he walk up on me and like, Flick my collar down and see me, see this shirt up under my other shirt. It was like, I told you he'd be wearing my shit. He got my shit on right now or whatever. My eye flipped on me or whatever. It was funny as fuck. He wasn't laughing, but the nigga would just, he just knew I had his shit. He knew I was rocking this shit. So, boom, that, that shit went by or whatever. Um, it was this one time, right? 
nigga slid me a quarter ounce of dope, right? So I'm in the house thinking, I'm like 14, well, where am I going to hide this shit at? So I go downstairs in the basement, right? And my aunt started calling me to go to the store for it. So you know them big pipes that's in the basement with the heat run through? I put the motherfucking dope up there because I knew she wasn't going to go down there and go and, and, and go up on the pipes or whatever. So I go to the store or whatever, come back. Why she done turned on the goddamn heat? When I put my hand up there, the dope was melted. The dope was melted. I'm scared to tell my cousin what the fuck done happened because he going to be like, you always fucking up or whatever. So I ain't say nothing. You feel me? So I tried to like just prolong the shit so I can get his money up because he was like 250 year old the nigga so this nigga named Lamont this crackhead nigga you feel me he used to come through the block or whatever so I'm like I tell the nigga when he run up on me I'm like man Lamont owe me some money man and when he pay me I'm gonna get to you he been bullshitting me why this nigga Lamont happened to walk down the goddamn street my cousin like hey my nigga you owe my little cousin some money he like no nah. feel me so I'm like he run up on me he like my nigga I just seen Lamont, he said he don't owe you no money. So I tell a nigga the situation. He like, look, listen, listen, though. I tell a nigga, I said, man, I put it on the pipe and it melted, man. He like, what? You put it on the pipe and it melted? What you smoking, nigga? What the fuck? And I had my nigga on the line with me, you know, because that was my main nigga or whatever, because we was talking over the phone, because he called me from upstairs. I stayed downstairs. He stayed upstairs. So just so my nigga could hold me down or whatever, he laughing and shit or whatever. And I'm like, man, I put it on the motherfucking heater thing, man. He's like, why the fuck would you stay telling me that shit? Fuck you acting. Are you telling me other niggas owe you money and shit and all this such and such, such and such? So I see Lamont, right? And he like, man. Why you tell your cousin I owed you some money? He's, I was like, man, I owed that nigga some money, and I just came up with some shit out, out of my head. He's like, man, you should at least told me first, and then I could have fucked with you. I could have like, yeah, I owed that nigga some money or whatever, but I was like, man, it happened so fast. I had to think quick on my feet, you did? So, boom, I got caught up there. So, check it out. One time, um, I booked him for an eight ball. Damn, my shit fucking up, blurring up. I booked the nigga for an eight ball of dope, right? So I go still with my father's house because I live with my aunt and my father came from New York. He got a girl or whatever. They live over on St. Clair. So I go stay over there. I'm hiding out just in case. I don't know if he know or not. So he called one day over there. Uh, I, matter of fact, I was talking to my aunt or whatever. And she like, when you coming home or whatever? Like, I'm coming home. And he like, nigga, I know you. He was calm though. Like, nigga, I know you took that eight ball, nigga. You ain't got to steal from me, nigga. Just, just ask me, nigga. You feel me? And he left it alone. I was scared to death. He left it alone, you feel me? And when I used to book shit, I'm buying goodies and all type of shit, tennis shoes or whatever. So check it out. Um, one day when I was innocent, I was down at the crack house and I made like a, I sold like about $200, $300 worth of dope. You feel me? So the lady gave me $200 bills. You feel me? It was either $200 bills or some 20. She gave me something like that. So when I went to pay that nigga, his money, because I was still on the nigga, so I had to pay that shit off or whatever. The nigga was like, he was like, come here, let me holler at you. After I paid the nigga the money, he counted his money or whatever. He was like, come here, let me holler at you. I was like, what's up? And when he turned around, he had a, a steak knife in his back pocket. You feel me? I'm like, what the fuck? So we, we was talking, and we sat down. He's like, put your hand on the table. I'm like, no. He's like, man, put your hand on the table, man. I'm not playing with you. And I'm like, nah. He like... Where you get this money from, nigga? He said, let me show you something. Let me show you something. The nigga took the money and held it up to the light. And every piece of money had a like a, a pinhole in it. Like in a little circle, had a little pinhole in it. But I knew I was innocent. I ain't steal nothing, bruh. I ain't take your shit, bruh. So he like, all right, you know what? I'm about to go holler at uh, old girl. So he went down there and hollered at that girl and she verified my story and I was cool. But the nigga was going to try to stab me, you feel me? And he was getting that bread. So they would have probably flipped out on him, but it would have still been like my fault. Even though I was a little nigga and I'm from New York, remember? You feel me? So that went past. You know, I moved out or whatever. But that's my nigga whatever. You know, we, 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 we cool like that. That's my nigga. My cousin. I love my cousin. That's my nigga. You feel me? So... We move out or whatever. I'm hanging with the OG niggas that, um, like I said, when I was still in the cars and I got caught up for doing some dumb shit to them, right? So um, 
one day I go to the house. I don't stay there no more. I climb up the side of the porch. You feel me? Come through the front door because I knew the front door you could get in. And I hit my cousin room. So I'm looking for a couple dollars just so I could probably, you know, give me some snacks or whatever. I'm hungry as fuck just to do some shit, just to have some money or whatever. So I open up the nigga cabinet and it's a couple stacks of money. So I'm not about to do no stupid shit. I grab the stack of ones, close that bitch back, and walk the fuck up out that bitch. Matter of fact, he had a camera that used to point. As soon as you walk towards the door, he had a camera that used to point. So this is what I did. We had a stepfather, and stepfather used to smoke work on the low. You feel me? So, it used to be shit happening with his, with, with his stepfather or whatever. So, I put on a pair of his stepfather's shoes and grab a cover and walk towards the camera and throw a cover over the camera. You feel me? So, even if he could see something, he'll see the shoes and know that that ain't me. Even though I'm a little, I'm way, I'm much shorter than his, his what's the name, but I was walking with my hands up holding the sheets or whatever, right? So I threw that shit over. And I don't even know if the camera was on or not, but that's just how smart this nigga was. So I take the stack of ones, bounce up out that bitch. It looked like it's about a hundred ones maybe, like a hundred ones or some shit like that. So I bail up out that bitch, you know what I'm saying? I, um... I run all the way back to where I was at with my OGs and them be at. So it was some my niggas was over some hoes house. I just bumped into the hoe. After like 15 years, 20 years later, I seen this hoe, right? So um it still looked nice. So I um go to their house or whatever. So I pull out the money or whatever, you feel me? And I start counting it. So when I start counting it, this where the shit go bad. This nigga so smart, he got one dollar bills on top of hundreds and fifties and twenties. Oh my god, it was like a thousand dollars. It was like a thousand dollars. I'm nervous as fuck. It's a thousand dollars, man. This could fuck this nigga pack up. This could fuck up. You feel me? I didn't fucked up. So now I'm thinking like, how in the fuck am I gonna get this money? Back into the house, you feel me? There was no way it was too late because now people about to be home because I know what time motherfuckers get home from bingo or whatever. So now I'm fucked up. I'm like, I'm nervous as fuck. So I just like, fuck it. I'm perving in front of the hoes or whatever because they know me. But you know what I'm saying? I ain't the cutest guy out the bunch or whatever. So I start counting 20s and 20s all over this chick table. Filled her table up with 20s or whatever. It was like a thousand dollars. Everybody like, where you get that money from? Whatever, whatever, such and such, such and such. So I tell my nigga what I did or whatever. He like, he used to, he was selling dope. He was selling dope already. So he like buy a half ounce of dope or whatever and just do whatever with the rest so you could keep bubbling. Cause I was gonna buy my OG's whip. You feel me for the 800? I'm like, I'm about to buy a whip with this shit. After a while when I start feeling like, Fuck it or whatever. Ain't nothing I could do. I was going to buy my, my uh, OG whip uh, cutlass for 800 with the sounds in that bitch. But I never did. You feel me? Because I'm like, if I buy this and this nigga find out or such. I was just still nervous at, at the end of the day. So I was just like telling. um, I just kept telling my nigga, yeah, we're going to buy some dope. We're going to buy some dope. But we end up just spending that shit all the way gone. I bought Bo Jacks and tennis shoes, rings and shit, all that type of shit. So, like, sometimes my niggas would be doing funny shit. They'd be like, hey, man, your cousin came around here and he was talking about that money. You feel me? And I get scared as fuck. And they were like, no, I'm just fucking with you, nigga, or whatever, such and such. They'll prolong that shit. So, one day. I was walking, I had some brand new Bo Jacksons on, the orange, gray, and white ones, and I had this ring, this nugget I had bought. So I seen my cousin pull up with his girl. I slid the ring off to my nigga, like, hey, take this or whatever. So he was like, hey, let me holler at you right quick. And then I was like, what's up, uh, cuz, whatever. He like, yeah, he like, he just looked at me, he like, where you get them new tennis shoes from? I was like, I bought these bitches. He like, oh yeah. He was like, uh, he was like yeah, I'm just checking on you. Um, just checking on you, cuz, or whatever. But I knew what he was doing. You feel me? I could soon as soon as he got out the car, nigga, because he probably already came at his stepfather or whatever. So the only person he can think about now is me. Even though I don't live there, but he know I'm a slick little nigga. So 
that that shit was crazy at the end of the day because I went in there to book a couple of lot, couple of dollars, and he's so slick. If he'd have had just the hundred, if he'd have just been a regular type thing, and nigga, he'd have had the hundreds on top. I would have never fucked with that shit because I just wanted some some Mr. Heroes and to be able to kick it a little bit. I wasn't smoking weed or nothing like that. So <clears throat> to this day, he don't know that I'm the one that booked that money and that money counted because he was looking for me. You feel me? He pulled up with his girl looking for me, like riding around. Niggas didn't tell me he was looking for me, but when he pulled up, nigga, I know he knew I'd be in that area and he pulled up, nigga, like, what's up? What's going on, nigga? And he couldn't just ask me or I don't think he just wanted to ask me. He wanted to try to trick me or he didn't even know if I really had nothing to do with it because I don't live there or whatever. So he was just like, man, where you get them new tennis shoes from? And me being smart just like him, I'm like, I bought them. You feel me? Because I'm out here hustling too. It ain't like I'm just just all the way fucked up all the time. I'm out here hustling because I got the game from him or whatever. So he was like, all right, I'll holler at you or whatever. I was nervous as fuck or whatever. I got my ring back for my um, my dude or whatever. And they was like, yeah, that nigga on your motherfucking ass. But ain't nothing really happened after that. Nothing happened after that. You understand me? And, I, and you know what's so crazy, y'all? This would really save me. This shit crazy. I happened to find out, like, maybe a, a year later or something, that his stepfather on the same day that that shit happened stayed away from the house for like four days. So I guess he was out there fucking with the crack or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? Because he was a, a nigga that worked every day. He, he worked every day. I talk, I talk about him in one of my hood stories talking talk about Karma, the nigga that got blew up in the basement and all that shit. So he worked every day. But sometime back in the days, you know how niggas smoke crack or whatever. They choose to take their little weekend and be motherfuckers can't find them or whatever. And then they come on back or whatever. But hey. The nigga saved my ass because he stayed gone for like four days. And they saying to themselves, like, how the fuck this nigga gone for four days? And now, and all of a sudden, our cousin money come up missing. They put it on him. But since it was his house, and you don't supposed to be really selling dope out this, like, you shouldn't even be having no dope. Or like, you know what I'm saying? My cousin was like, just like of age or whatever. He was just like 18 or 17 or whatever, really eating. Niggas was eating at a young age, man. You feel me? I'm talking about really at a, a young age. When niggas get older, that's when they don't really be eating like that. But I was eating. Man, I'm talking about I done seen some bread, my nigga. I done seen some bread. But long story short, man, my motherfucking, um, my, my, um, my, um, uncle stayed away for like four days. And that cleared me out the shit. Because they like, yeah, this nigga, the nigga that booked it. But they really couldn't say nothing because that's his house. And then, like, you're supposed to be really fucking with the work. You understand me? So we we like, you get what I'm saying though? I might have didn't tell this story like like all enthusiastic like I should have been, but the crazy part is, man, my cousin don't even know nothing about this. And he be watching my channel now. I just hope he don't watch this vlog right here. Cause um I'ma need these glasses for real. <laughs>